homes sold in Summerlin for 2021. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to be going over the top three highest and the top three lowest priced homes that sold in Summerlin for 2021. I've done this for the last three years in a row. So I always like to go over what has been selling in Summerlin just because I cover the Summerlin area very extensively. So last year in 2021, there were 2,787 single family condos and townhomes that sold in uh, Summerlin. Now this does not include Sun City, Summerlin or Siena. And for 2020, that number was 2,059. So that was a 728 home sale increase. Then I broke it down between single family residential and townhomes and condos and there were 2,273 single family homes that sold last year. Um, in the 2020 number, this was at 1733. So that is a 540 sell increase. Now for townhomes and condos, there were 514 of them that sold in 2021. And in 2020, there was 326. So 188 sell increase. As you can see, 2021, was phenomenal in Summerlin and also in the Las Vegas real estate market. So now I'm going to go over the top three lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin. And our first lowest price home that sold in Summerlin was located at 7729 Rockfield Drive, located in the Plateau subdivision, which is part of the Hills Village. And this sold for 267,500 with an asking price of 275,000. This home was on the market for 47 days. This cozy single story home had two bedrooms, two baths, 1134 square feet, and it sold for $234 a square foot built in 1994. Our second lowest price home that sold in Summerlin was located at 2345 Sterling Heights in the Amarante subdivision part of the Hills Village, and it sold for 270,000 with an asking price of 270,000. And it was only on the market for one day because it was sold to a family member and there was only one picture in the MLS of it. Um, it had two bedrooms, two baths, 1275 square feet, and it sold for $212 per square foot built in 1992. And our third lowest price home that sold in Summerlin was located at 7701 Via Paseo in the Altamira subdivision, part of the Paseo's Village. And this home sold for 300,000 with an asking price of 300,000. And it was on the market for only one day. Another single story home that had two bedrooms, two baths, 1162 square feet. And it sold for $258 a square foot and built in 1995. So that was the three top three lowest price homes that sold in Summerlin for 2021. Now I'm going to go over the top three highest price homes that sold in Summerlin. And some of them are a little shockers to me. So um, let's get to it. On this one, I'm going to go in order of the lowest, highest price to the highest, highest price, if that makes sense. And the first one is 1701 Enclave Court located in Country Club Hills, a guard gated exclusive neighborhood in the Hills South Village. This home sold for 9.6 million with an asking price of 12.95 million and it was on the market for 207 days. This home was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water with four bedrooms, two dens, eight bathrooms, 13,349 square feet, four car garage and with a lot size of over 84,000. This home sits on two acres of the private TPC Summerlin golf course. There are only pictures of the outside in the MLS. Unfortunately, I was not able to get any pictures of the inside and this sold for $719 a square foot and it was built in 1997. And our second highest price home was located at 1641 Enclave Court, also in 
Country Club Hills, a guard gated community in the Hill South Village. And this sold for 11.3 million with an asking price of 12.85 million. And this one was only on the market for 32 days. Uh, this traditional home has six bedrooms, four dens, 10 bathrooms, 14,132 square feet, a seven car garage with a lot size of over 113,000. Wow. Situated on 2.6 acres on the 18th fairway of the TPC Summerlin Golf Course, this design was inspired by old world authenticity and it sold for $800 per square foot and was built in 1999. I can understand the lot. It's just too traditional for me and surprisingly that it sold for that amount, but there's a lot of people like that whole traditional aspect of a home. It's a little more traditional than I would like, but maybe they're gonna gut it and update it. Who knows? <laughs> Are you guys ready for the highest priced home that sold in Summerlin? All right, here it goes. This one was located at 10951 Stardust Drive, Located in the summit, a very prestigious guard gated exclusive community in Summerlin. This home sold for 15,400,000 with an asking price of 15,400,000 and it was only on the market for 28 days. This two story home was designed by architect Douglas Mansfield and has four bedrooms, one den, six bathrooms, 6634 square feet, three car garage, and a lot size of over 26,000. Uh, features of this home are pool, spa, home theater. Unfortunately, there was only one picture in the MLS on this home. I don't know why they do that. And it sold for $2,321 per square foot. Wow. And this was built in 2019. For luxury home sales in Summerlin, there were 498 homes over a million dollars that sold. Uh, compared to 2020, that number was 145. So that is a 640 home sell increase in the luxury market in Summerlin. So that's kind of, that's huge. That's huge that um, we had such a huge increase. Let me know in the comments if you like me doing this every year. Um, I think it's interesting to find from one spectrum to the other spectrum what had sold in Summerlin. Obviously, you can get something in the 200,000 range or the high 200 range, but that's going to be a very small home and in the older parts of Summerlin. Now, obviously, I didn't go over condos. I just go over single family homes. I'm sure you could find a condo in Summerlin that's around the 250 range. I'm not sure because, again, I just focused on single family homes. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe, folks. Because <laughs> I like to talk a lot about Summerlin, Las Vegas, and anything related to real estate in the Valley, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.